What is up, guys? Today we're going to be checking out this IBM Model M mechanical clicky style keyboard from around 1987. It's in impeccable shape, and I highly doubt it's broken. I'm almost positive that this thing will work. Um, but I do not have a cable, and so it's coming in the post this afternoon. And uh, once that comes in the post, I guess we're going to be able to test it out. But for now, we're going to check out the insides of it. Then close it back up, and then we're going to be... I'll get back to you when we have the cable after that, so... Yeah. Before we get started uh, looking inside the keyboard and uh, putting in a new cable and testing it, I want to show you my new desk setup. Now, this screensaver is called Plasma. I will put the link down below in the description. It's a very cool screensaver, so uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Right now I have a Logitech, Logitech K120. It's not mechanical, it's rubber dome, it's really crappy. I have this crappy mouse I picked up for like, I think it was like $4.60. And I use this headset, which, please guys, if you guys have a headset you're willing to donate to me. Please guys, have mercy, holy crap, this thing, no matter what setting I put it on, this, this part doesn't change its shape. Like, only this moves out, not that. And it freaking squeezes my head like a melon, and it hurts after a couple of, like, maybe an hour of playing. Um, so, oh shoot, um, yeah, so, moving on. So, here's the keyboard. Let me just, uh, so this is the keyboard. It's an IBM Model M. This thing is in immaculate condition. I, I traded the power supply for this thing. Okay, I have no clue if it works. The guy had the cable for it, but his dog chewed through it. It's clicky, it's, it's mechanical. And I think it'll really accent this, okay? Sit right there, it'll look ballin'. And uh, I don't know if that's messing with my camera, those screensavers. But this is this is a nice keyboard, and so as the original labels, I took it apart once. You guys want me to see you take it? You want to see me take it apart, guys? I I, I kind of do. So let's uh, skip to that part here. Okay, guys. So this is the Model M. You can hear it here. There's a cable coming in the post today. It will arrive sometime this afternoon. I will edit that into this video. And uh, but before we do any of that, let's uh, take this thing apart. So. This is kind of difficult because I don't have the right bit in exactly. It's the right bit, but it's, it doesn't perfectly fit into these holes. And I have to kind of scrape it, unfortunately, but it's in perfect shape and people aren't going to see the bottom of it. And for what it is, it has all the rubber feet. This one, this one. Not those ones, but I don't think those were supposed to be rubber feet, so I think we're good there. Now this is the thing I gotta be careful about because that's on the surface. Let's get that IBM keyboard feel out of here. Now I don't want to take this apart too many times. I've already taken it apart a couple times. And I really don't want to break any of the ribbon cables in there. So I'm just gonna take off the lid. So I can show you guys how much of an immaculate condition this thing is in. You can see there's almost no dust. I completely cleaned this thing inside it out. But even before it was cleaned, there was almost no dust inside of the entire thing. Um, you can see in here, this thing is like... This thing is like a dream come true for anybody who wants to collect a keyboard. I'm not going to be selling this thing for a couple of years. One, because it'll become more rare. And that means more money when I do sell it, if I do sell it. And two, I've always wanted to have a mechanical keyboard with a buckling spring system. And now I do. I'm going to have it for a couple of years before I get an actual gaming mechanical keyboard. And then I will sell it. So for now, though, we're going to put back on the lid. I'm so sorry to anybody who collects these things and has to hear this.
It might make a slightly terrible sound, but I don't mean to do it. It, it just happens. This thing's very, very old. I'm surprised all the clips are still intact. Uh, it's it's very good shape for what it is, basically. I couldn't ask for more other than a cable that I didn't have to pay. Other than a keyboard cable that I don't have to pay ten dollars for, because that was kind of a ripoff. I highly doubt that that thing is actually worth ten dollars. Um, so I'm trying out some new video editing software, and uh, so far I'm digging it. It's Premiere Pro CS6, and it seems good. It seems okay. Except now it's hung up at 99% and it's just fucking frozen. I don't know why, but it just did do that a couple minutes ago. It's just been like that. Exporting. It worked exporting the first time, but I couldn't watch the video. Which is kind of not a good thing. You can see. I have to wiggle the thing out. That is just a shadow. This thing is perfect. It's impeccable, dude. I think that there's any scratches on it at all, other than right here. I accidentally scratched it, trying to... Maybe you can see that, I doubt it. Right there. You can barely see that. Uh, I tried to, I kind of scratched it. I shoved a screwdriver with a paper towel on top of the tip of it to get all the dirt out of here, and I accidentally scraped the thing because it went through the towel and it slipped. This is a very bad chain of events. So, that's the inside of the keyboard. So, uh, I suppose that I will be back when this thing is, when this cable has arrived. Okay, guys, it's been a couple, it's been like an hour or two since I last, uh, recorded. But, uh, through the magic video editing, it's been a few seconds for you guys. But, uh, the package has arrived. Let me just use the Sharpie to take out my address. Okay, well, just uh, taking out all of the barcodes here just in case. Okay, well, it's about as good as that's going to get. And this cable is straight from Unicom, the people who used to make the cables. Let me just grab my blade here. Um, So this cable is of the highest quality possible, unless somebody can do better than the people who originally made them. A cloner, somehow. Uh, let me just cut this thing open, and we're gonna test out this keyboard now. Finally, I've been waiting forever. I've wanted to test this thing for weeks, and I haven't been able to. Um, I can't get this thing open. Oh, you... Okay, you tear it. There is probably a packing slip in here. It kind of sounds like it. I got this thing for 10 bucks. Not bad. Yes, there's a packing slip. But yes, there's the cable I've needed. Let me just read this. Um, yeah, they gave me a discount. basically they sponsored this video so thank you guys for sponsoring this video um so here's the cable i have oh my gosh i've searched for one of these i searched for one of these for like two days straight but we can finally open up this package and test the dang thing so first i'm going to cut it open um take out this cable, and this cable feels like it's just take been taken off the factory line, which it has. I wonder which way this thing goes on. Let's, uh, well, this is a short cable. Crap. Um, it goes in this way, I believe. Yes, it's in. 
and uh, we're gonna bring it over to the computer. We're gonna get rid of this annoying Logitech one. So let's just uh, let's just straight up unplug this one. Let me just raise the tripod here. You guys don't have to sit there and do nothing. Um, I'm gonna take away my desk chair as well. Uh, so here we go. I'm gonna shut down the computer. What's going on? Why am I sideways? What the frick? Whatever, okay. Um, so let's take out this. Let me just get the cable. Oh, we have to shut it down first before I unplug stuff. Uh, well, I'm, I'm actually in, in the process of editing this video because it's been a couple hours. So, oh crap, update and shut down. I don't want to update, I just want to shut down. So I guess we're going to have to do the thing I hate doing. Is press reset. Right, and then as soon as it posts, turn it off, which I hate doing. Okay, there it goes. I'm gonna just uh, flip the switch on the power supply, pull out this keyboard, put in the new. Sh uh, the it looks new, but it's not. Um, the IBM one. This disc in my story. Um, shoot, shoot. Um, so then we'll just bring this cable down. Sweet. Um, I have not even been able to try to attempt to test this keyboard yet, so I, I don't know what to expect. It could be completely dead, it might work fine. We're about to find out, because I've never, I don't know, I've never had a cable, uh, this is the first time I've had a cable for this. It's full disclosure there, I don't know if this thing works. So, I have it plugged in. Three, wait, I have to turn on the switch. Yes, it lit up. So three, two, one. See if this keyboard does anything. This thing could be totally toast. I don't know, guys. Oh, it blinked, it flickered. Oh my god. Yes! It's working! Okay. It's working. Okay, um, this is great. Look. So let's reboot it. All control delete works, so at least some of the keys work. We're rebooting into Windows now. Yeah, I'm actually gonna have to angle the camera away. Hopefully it'll let me enter in my password. I'll just block this for a sec. After it boots up, I'm gonna block the keyboard when I enter in my password because what? That took a while. Oh shoot. That's weird because I didn't even change the boot settings. Why is it experiencing boot failures because of overclocking now? Hang on. I don't know I don't know what's going on, but there are some technical difficulties happening here. Hopefully it'll boot now. I'm not sure what's happening. Because it's, it's been stable for the past, like, two weeks, like this. There it goes. Now it's booting. Okay. The numlock key lit up. I mean, the numlock LED. So we know that works. Uh... And it's installing updates. <sighs> Great. Numlock key is working, caps lock key is working, scroll lock key is working. Um, a 
I'll be back when this is done. Uh. Well, it looks like it's working. I'm going to uh, have to open up a notepad and just press all the keys. But as of right now, it looks like this keyboard is working. And it's rebooting. Okay, I, I might have to reset the CMOS, guys. I don't know what's going on. Or why it's doing that. But it is outputting a lot of heat, and I have no clue why. It's just beeping. It's just rebooting over and over. Maybe it's just a fluke, because this was working perfectly like five minutes ago. I don't know what the frick is going on. I don't know what it's doing. No? Shoot. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay. We have display. It failed again. What the frick? She says 16.0x. That's not right. I have it set to 18. I wonder if my battery's dying. That is really, really weird. Let's just, uh, let's, how do I do previous? F5. Yes. I must have, like, changed something. I'm not sure what. Something happened. Oh, that sucks. I don't know what I did. It looks like it's gonna boot up. Yeah, but it's probably gonna do the same thing next time. I don't know why. Uh, it could be a power supply issue. I have one coming in the mail, but I don't know what's going on. Uh, this thing's outputting a lot more heat than usual. Just the power supply, like, CPU normally outputs that hot heat, but I don't know. Maybe I just perfect timing buying that thing. Um, because that's pretty toasty. Okay, it booted, so... Okay, it typed in all the characters. Okay, okay. It's pretty good. Uh, seems to be working, but we're gonna open up a notepad document just in case. I'm actually gonna move you guys closer to the monitor here so you guys can see what's happening. I'm actually gonna put it onto the second monitor because that one just opened up Discord. <coughs> Let's do it on here. Don't look at my uh, friends' names. Okay, X, uh, new? Text document, keyboard test. It typed. See numlock. Okay, well that key actually, that one spring is buckled too far. I need to take out that key. Yeah, that one's just not in right. That's all. Let me grab a screwdriver. Because that never did that before, so I know that it's just gonna need to be reseated. Yep, the spring was kind of bent, so. Yep, that key works. Um.
sweet. Okay. Wow. Wow. Sweet. Don't another misplaced key here. What the frick is happening? Because these weren't like this. Oh crap, I just ripped off the wrong key. <laughs> I don't know what the frick it's doing. It's just not working right. Okay, it's just a... Uh, I keep putting on the keys wrong apparently. That key does work. Um, ow. All control delete. Yes. All control delete. Yes. Space. Yes. It looks like that's... That's good. We're good. Um, so if you go home here... Okay, what? I don't know how these keys work. Hang on. Yes, home, page up, page down, end. Okay, yeah, this whole thing is working, so that's cool. Don't save. Let's just get rid of this. And, uh, well, thank you guys for watching. Well, we'll like the video. And, uh, yeah, this thing works. That's awesome. Um, can I turn off caps lock and unlock? And, uh, yeah, that's good. Thanks for watching.